Today's question is about ADHD, the default mode network, and psilocybin. So what are we talking about here? Well, for those who are unaware, the default mode network refers to a number of brain regions that remain active and sort of synchronized when we are not consciously engaged in other tasks. Think of it as the sort of default rest state of the brain. When we actively engage the brain, we see that synchronized background state sort of decrease as the specific areas of the brain we need for the task increase in activity. And in some studies, like this one, there are differences in that swap from the default state to the attentive state. And when it comes to something like psilocybin, one of the things we notice it does is modulate that default mode network. And in particular, it appears to modulate the prefrontal and posterior cingulate cortices, which we also know are related to ADHD symptoms. And specifically for ADHD, psilocybin does appear to help. Studies like this naturalistic one, for example, that's one where they recruit people sort of online and see how they feel before and after they decide to use psilocybin as opposed to doing it in the lab, do report improvements both in ADHD symptoms and general well-being. Now, more research is of course needed. This is a new growing field, but the preliminary data looks very promising. As always, appreciate the questions. Post any more you might have in the comments below. And don't forget to like and follow for more neuro and psychology content.